The next step is implementation. And here's where we get to enact those goals and policies. In terms of developing an implementation plan, once you're at that stage in the process, communities can use a combination of regulatory and non-regulatory measures depending on the sentiment of the community and what works best for them. On the regulatory side, oftentimes looking at local municipalities, subdivision regulations is a great place to start to be able to see if their regulations are acknowledging and recognizing the need to be able to look at a subdivision as it relates to the forest and for the development review board to be able to take into account the value of the forest when people are looking to uh, subdivide their land. On the non-regulatory side, I think this is a place where towns can really be embracing those local relationships. It could be anything from going out and talking to your neighbors about the value of the forest, just starting that conversation and bringing it to the forefront. Um, it can be having education um, workshops. There's very strong aspirational goals at the town plan level, especially for communities that have done Act 171 planning. But actually there's quite a bit of lag going from those aspirational goals to then actually having implementable policies um, through let's say the land use you know, regulatory side. It's really important for towns to break up a big task like implementing zoning or new subdivision code. After you've identified the actions that you want to take, you go through and you prioritize them, whether they're high, medium, or low importance, and you associate a time frame with implementation of those. And then you also delegate the task to a certain committee, uh, a certain person, a certain community group, so that they take ownership of it and that they're able to see it through to completion. The implementation of the municipal plan doesn't have to be all regulatory and I think there's great opportunity for more non-regulatory actions that towns can be thinking about. This is a place where towns can really be embracing those local relationships. Um, it could be anything from going out and talking to your neighbors about the value of the forest, just starting that conversation and bringing it to the forefront. Um, it can be having education um, workshops, uh, helping to promote the current use program, talking about property owners, about um, certain types of management plans they could be implementing and providing that assistance and linking them with uh, further technical assistance. The list goes on and on. And so these are strategies that are really geared towards um, not necessarily saying to a landowner, hey, X, Y, or Z needs to happen on your property. It's what are your goals for your property? And if you have conservation or stewardship in mind, these are different strategies you can employ. It's, it's that common finish line that we're all looking to. So it's, it's not about, you know, it's not about how you get there, it's the fact that you get there is what's important. A great example, the Heinsberg Town Plan has an implementation chapter. They list all the goals and policies that they've included in the plan. They assign responsibility to different parts of the municipal government. Uh, they provide a timeline and, and a sense of the budget. And so that's sort of taking a, 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 big, a big ticket item, uh, like a zoning, or, or, uh, a zoning code or even a particular policy, and breaking it up into smaller steps and assigning responsibility is a critical piece here. I think for communities that are wondering how do we delve into this implementation, uh, if they're feeling a bit, you know, paralyzed, that there are resources available. You know, there's uh, municipal planning grants where they could hire a professional planner then to help them work on one aspect of, of let's say, their subdivision regulations. Um, they could work with land trusts to actually work with willing landowners in the community um, who are interested in, in land conservation. They can work with a county forester who can educate perhaps some new forest landowners who have moved into town um, who may own large forest blocks and may not know about the current use program and the advantages that come to enrolling in current use. Uh, they can work with a professional planner or Vermont Natural Resources Council or a regional planning commission to actually work on a host of implementation steps. So if communities not quite sure what the next step is, there are resources uh, available to help them.